Shelters in Tijuana are at full capacity with more refugees expected. Workers are trying to make sure there's enough food, water and clothing. Since May, groups like the Salvation Army have provided temporary housing for more than 1,000 refugees. Carlos Correa joining us live right now at Ped West, where many are waiting, hoping to cross into the U.S. Carlos, what's going on? And good afternoon to you. Refugees mostly from Ghana and Haiti have traveled a long way to try and find a new life here in the U.S., but most are finding that it's not as easy as walking up and knocking on the door. Bananas and oranges help dozens of refugees survive another day on the streets of Tijuana. You just want to you wanna do what you can do, but there's a limit, you know what I mean? Men, women, and children are seeking political asylum in the U.S., as they flee poverty and violence at home. Stuck here at the San Isidro port of entry, they communicate with what little English and Spanish they know. How many countries did you um, pass just to come here? ¿Cuántos países pasaste para estar en Tijuana? Mucho. Mucho país. Mucho. Denny and his three-year-old are from Haiti. They ended up in Tijuana earlier this week after months of traveling across Latin America. He's hoping to find a doctor to help treat his son's chicken pox. Thirty-eight-year-old Sonny Lucien is also from Haiti. He is focused on his loved ones back home. He says his family needs help, and he's hoping to find work in America. The Salvation Army runs a 100-bed shelter where refugees can stay for a few days or a couple of weeks. But there isn't enough room for everyone, and too often there aren't any answers either. The biggest challenge is answering the questions that they, they, they have. You know, they have they have questions in the sense that we can't we can't answer them. You know, when are they gonna open? Why does why do why don't they just let us go? Now, refugees are screened by Border Patrol agents and then turned over to U.S. Immigration Custom Enforcement. Now, to qualify for political asylum, the law requires documentation and firsthand testimony showing well-founded fear of persecution. Those who are unsuccessful in providing that face deportation back to their country. Reporting live at the San Isidro Port of Entry, I'm Carlos Correa, CW6 News.